Let's look at question 16. Three sum closed. Closed. Actually, this question is uh, um, transform from a three sum question. The difference is uh, three sum question. They need a three integer plus together to reach some value. For example, zero. This one, they ask you, you scan the whole integer from the array and uh, find the three integer plus together the value is uh, close to the target value. So, for example, this one. They will say that the output is two, so it's uh, the from uh, negative one plus two plus one, they get a two. Two is uh, the closest value to the one. You cannot find other one less than two. Okay, um, let us just uh, copy the question number five's algorithm and do some modify to finish this one. So here is uh, question number 15. Thanks to the leak code to save the each question solution. We have uh, Question 16, we come here and copy the code to some with the little change, closed here we have a little different. Now we do not need a result, and we need to return the closed value. So we need to define the, the closed value is uh, integer uh, closed closed is. Uh, And uh, when we do this one, we have to re remove this uh, condition because uh, we find it closed, so you cannot guarantee they must equal. So first, uh, we need to short this one, and uh, this one here, and also here. We need a light to some close to know the target value, and uh, we already know some uh, this one. So this is a new close to value every time. Um, we set up this one to this here, and we return this one. This one will return the new. So, if we find the small one less than this one, we will return. So every time we will update this one, and here. So we don't need this one. It's int target and uh, int closed. Same thing here. And uh, the D 
different is this one, right? So if sum is less than closed, less than this one, we need a left will increase, right will increase. So if for the equal to this one, we need to return target, right? So if closed is equal to target, what do we need to do? Return target. We do not need to calculate the rest of the thing. Okay. However, before this going to this one, you can check the summer and close it, summer and target, right? So here, actually, we do not need this one because uh, we need to calculate the gap. Original gap here. We define the gap equal to uh, SP Java long. Close it minus target. Right, we have this value. So if so new gap is equal to summer this one. Right. If new gap is a small than gap, yes. So first we need to update this one to the new ABS, and then we also need to update the close to the sum here. And finally, we return the closest. Okay, so we already know the logical and I tried. Hmm. Okay, I know what happened. So, this one. So, in here, if new gap ps equal zero we find it so we ignore this here so we we do not have else because the, the when he the closest is the target we already return the return it so let's check hmm. Still something wrong. So, 
some loop is not finished. This loop is finished. And uh, when loop come here, left, we get this one. When this is equal to target, Here is target, not the closest. This is a typo. Let us submit it. Hmm. Let me check what's wrong here. This one is uh, defined here. So they cannot get update any update so this one is defined uh, the max value I say we should not use the max value because here may have uh, mm, some overload overload this one so this one we give them half because uh, the range is uh, here so give the half is still is enough but it's uh, to wider the situation over flock run it done yes so we implement this one performance is uh, we can check here so still is good Okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video.